Hey guys, today we get to talk about a new interesting combo. It is probably still the most difficult combo to do in standard. And let me know if you guys can pull this combo off. I would love, love to see this on Magic the Gathering online or in real life at FNM. But it is the Hedron alignment combo. So if you're not familiar with Hedron alignment, this combo is insanely difficult to pull off. Two and a blue, you play for enchantment hexproof. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may reveal your hand. If you do, you win the game if you can own a card named Hedron Alignment in Exile. So you gotta get the card in Exile in your hand, in your graveyard, and on the battlefield. So in formats, unless it's super casual, you only have four copies of this in your deck. You have to Exile one, you have to play one on the field, which is the one that is triggering the win condition. You have to wait until beginning of your upkeep. So even if you played it and you would give your opponent a chance to interact with it, yes, it does have hexproof, but they can obviously interact with your graveyard or your hand, and that's no good. So essentially, it is a win con, which is just crazy. You need an exile one, you need one in your hand, you need one in your graveyard, and you need one in a battlefield. The one in the battlefield is probably the safest. The one in your hand is probably not very safe. And then one in the graveyard, there's a ton of effects that will exile cards from your graveyard. So combine this with a new card, Secret Salvage, free and double black. It makes it slightly easier to pull off. It's no longer insane. I mean, you need all four copies of this. You need access to all four copies of this card to do the win con. So this card says... Exile target non-land card from your graveyard. You gotta get this to your graveyard. You exile it, which is kind of difficult to do, so you met that requirement. Search your library for any number of cards with the same name as that card, reveal them, and put them into your hand. So you're gonna go ahead and you're going to, you gotta send this to your graveyard. Hedron alignment has to be in the graveyard. Then you have to exile it. Then you get free copies of it. You will play one copy, you will keep one copy in your hand, but you still have to put one copy in your graveyard, which is relatively easier to do. So then you just win. One of the most insanely difficult combos to pull off, Hedron Alignment. I've never seen it in person. Uh, obviously, in standard, you need a 60-card deck. You don't have access to that many tutor abilities. In the EDH, this is non-playable because you don't have four copies of it. You only have one copy, which is pretty relatively uh, useless. And let's let's talk about you know other formats um, that you could play this in. Uh, Legacy, you have more tutoring abilities, but I mean, why would you play this? So the modern, again, you only have four copies of this with limited tutors uh, available to you. So right now is the only time I could see a combo coming off Hedron alignment. Standard tends to be weaker and slower than modern Legacy, and now you have Secret Salvage, which is reasonable with this card it's not like the best combo ever it's not even going to be i mean if you play two months of fnm and you pull off this combo one time i think that would be pretty impressive uh, you probably pull it off after you finish like oh and four and you're playing in the loser bracket i just feel like it will be very epic i might go ahead and make the deck just to try it out i feel like if you do accomplish it you probably just had a blast and you can always say you know, I would love to pull this off against a net decker. That would just make me smile so much. Uh, someone with a very expensive deck that they got the list online and you played a janky. He, this is the jankiest combo I've ever seen in my life. It's probably the hardest combo to pull off. And I would love to see. It's harder than Battle of Witch and harder than uh, any of the infinite combos. And definitely if it's seeing play in modern, it's probably a good combo. So it's better than... In my opinion, better than those combos when you do pull it off. It's harder than Coalition Victory. It's just insane. It, it's insanely difficult to pull off this combo, and that's why I love it. So let me know if you guys will try out this deck, and let me know if you do win. I would love to see on video. And if you get it on video, like a legit f and M, I will put it on the channel and tag whatever social media you want because I feel like, and that also reminds me, a lot of people say, oh, I'm gonna play FNM at Walmart, but I never got a single picture, I never got a single video, although I did get a lot of people saying that they did it. I wanna see this combo. Maybe I'll offer a Falia or something, one of the better Falias, 
I own. So, Guardian of the Fraben. No, what is what's the original Falier's name? It's been a long time since I played Legacy with Falier. Death and Taxes. So anyway, um, maybe a Malera. I have extra Maleras. So this and Malera is a very combo centric card. This is a combo I want to see. I want to have a video of this combo because I feel like it would be very epic. And it can't be like fake. Like, it's pretty obvious if it's fake. Like kitchen table fake. Anyway, bye guys.